me just find our live here. Seems like this is all I ever do. All right. Welcome everybody. So um, we're gonna do a quick and easy door hanger. Now when I say door hanger, this would be perfect. I don't know about you all, but I always put a little something Christmas in my bathroom. And um, this would be perfect on a bathroom wall if you didn't wanna hang it on your door. So this is a snowflake patterned, um, Haley, uh, pine, I don't know what you call it, a swag, a, I don't know, but anyway, I guess I'll call it a swag thing. We're going to just put a bow in it and we're going to put some, some uh, red berries in it and I don't know, I think we might put a little snowman in there. Can't go wrong with snowman, can ya? So I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna feed a few of these berries in. And <clears throat> they're not gonna go in every single one of our branches, just a few. We're just gonna weave them around. We're not even going to glue them. We're just going to weave some around just like that. So we're just going to set this down in the bottom and we're going to pick some of our long and our shorts and just put some berries in. We're not even gluing them. I think we'll just let that one be down and out. Okay. Tell you what, I think we'll go this way. Not gonna see it anyway. Here we go. See, when you wrap them around like that, it makes it more a part of the arrangement. I'll try and keep with the same size berries. So you can get these, um, uh, where did I get this? This one came from my wholesaler, but you watch for them because you'll see them. And uh, every once in a while, Hobby Lobby will have them, have them out. <clears throat> We just want to be consistent with um, how many berries we're putting everywhere. So we don't want to be scarce and stingy other places and too many in others. I wasn't going to come on tonight, <clears throat> and I kind of alluded to that last night, and I thought, I was thinking about this all day today, and I'm like, oh, I was going to do that snowflake, and I thought, hmm, well, just do it tonight. Just do it. So we're just doing it. <laughs> okay. Okay more pieces of these berries in there and we will be good to go. And will we will. I think I'll wrap that one a little closer to the to the base. I think that's pretty good with the berries. They're pretty consistent. So this is what we have. 
we've just wrapped our berries around our branches so we can rid ourselves of those. So now we're going to uh, make our bow. So if you haven't guessed, the bow is going to be the center of attention. The focal point. So, these are the colors I've chose to play with tonight. All of these. So, let's, uh, we're not going to have any, any tails really. They're going to be kind of short. So, let's just play around making our bow. Now, I don't want my bow to be really huge, huge, but I don't want it to be too small either. So, I can fluff it smaller if I need to. So, let's just go for it, okay? I think we're going to start out with six and a half. I think that would be good. We're kind of going to do a little frumpy bow with this one. I don't have a lot of this one. But we'll make do. We'll put it in a couple of times. I want to see exactly how much I got because we're going to use it all. Did y'all like the snowman last night? He sold like right away. And so, let's see. I think Monday I'll have the rest of my snowmans here. And so, um, we're going to, I'm going to have, um, the black hatted snowman and um, the red hats. So I can do five just like I did last night, and they're listed already in my Etsy shop. And when they come in on Monday or Tuesday night, I will probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll make the black hatted Santa for you. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Now the black hatted one I like to do with um, uh, peppermint stuff and buffalo plaids. So I'll probably have several versions for, <coughs> for excuse me, for that one. Okay, we're just going to start getting smaller now. I can trim these off later. I'll go ahead and dovetail those in a little bit. Okay, next I want to get some of this lime green in. This 
this is kind of a, um, I don't know what I want to call that, a shear. It's a shear. Let's go back and put, yeah, let's do the lime green. Then we'll go back to our, we'll continue on what I'm doing. We will. We're going to end up with two loops of everything, but not all at the same time. We're just doing a little different bow tonight than I normally do. Now we're going to get in a stripe. It's going to be a festive bow, that's for sure. Let's go back and do what we started with. Just coming down in size with our loops every time. About a half an inch every time I put a new one in. So tomorrow is Bow Saturday, and we're going to be on at 5 o'clock tomorrow night. And um, after Bow Saturday, I think we're going to have our mystery bow sale. At, right after Bow Saturday gets over, maybe about an hour later. So all the bows that I make on Bow Saturday, I end up selling. So I think it's been about three months since we did our last mystery bow design. So we'll go ahead and sell some more bows. And they're a buy one, get, save more situation. I just sounded like I was the QVC rep. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to end with our cute, cute little stripe here. I'm going to make sure that get that going right. That'll give me all of the loops I need. So let's just end it with a center loop with this red. Let's just gather it up and get it in there. Just like that. Pull these off and get them out of our way so we can... Donna, we're making a, <clears throat> excuse me, an evergreen snowflake door hanger. So it can go indoors or outdoors. Um, I like these small 
um, door hangers for like your guest bathroom. Y'all, I always decorate my bathrooms for the holidays. Every year I do. So, I have a collection of Santa pictures and things like that. So, um, my bathrooms get a Santa picture and a wall hanging. Just like, pretty much like the one I'm making tonight. Did I put what on Etsy, Deborah? The bows? Not yet. I will tomorrow. Tomorrow during the day, and then I'll make an announcement when I get them all listed. You'll have plenty of time. If I can get to it later tonight, I'll try. That will give y'all some time to decide what you're going to want. So how that will work is they're all pre-sold. You'll go into my Etsy shop. You'll buy your mystery bow box. You'll decide how many bows that you want to buy. Um, let's see. We're doing four, six, and ten bows. And... Um, then tomorrow night for the um, live part of it I'm going to have a table full of bows and I'm going to go in the order that you order on Etsy that's the only fair way because if I just did comments you guys see who says what in a different order than I do so we're going to be fair about it, and I'm going to go in the order of purchase, okay? So I'm just going to take my pipe cleaner and just put this right in the center here. You'll still be able to see all the little goodies going on. So now we're going to fluff this. So I can trim what I need to trim. bows. I love them. So we want to move our loops and our tails around a little bit. We don't want all of one kind. guys, I just put these ribbons on because they're going to match my snowman, but you guys are going to pick ribbons 
that are going to match your decor. So if um, you're just putting it on your front door, there's no real matchy match going on there. But if you're putting this in a bathroom or laundry room or mud room, we have mud rooms in Iowa, we're farmers. So if you're putting it in a place like that, you're going to want to match your decor somewhat. You know what I mean? So, just separating out some loops. I think that's pretty good. That's a pretty bow. Okay, I'm guessing I want that to be the top. Sorry, I don't mean to mess around with that bow anymore, but nothing wrong with farmers, right? So we've been in a drought pretty much all summer. So about a week and a half ago it started raining here and now it won't quit. It just will not quit. Well I'm going to tell you right now I ain't keeping that ugly plastic bow on there. Peeling that off I think he looks cuter without that bow on there. But you know me, I'm going to make a bow. Oh, what do we want to make it out of? I think we're just going to use some of this lime green. I think that'll be really cute. And it's not even going to be real jazzy. green. I want red. Red, red. putting any bow on him. I don't like the bow on him. So we're just going to put a stick in there. Just like that. guys nothing super fantastic about that so then I want him to lay flatter
There we go. I just want him to peek out of that bow. So isn't he cute? Just a little something, something for a small wall, a door, maybe your back door. Just a little something. I'll zoom in on that. My lighting stinks tonight, I think. I don't know, it just doesn't doesn't pop in that. So this is why it's called a snowflake. Do you see how that's put together? It's all wired up just in a snowflake pattern. Ah, thanks for all the hearts and thumbs up. Okay, you guys, I'm going to carry on. So, hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow for Bow Saturday. Um, I'll get the mystery bow boxes all listed. And, uh, Tomorrow, tomorrow night we're just going to be playing in ribbons and bows. Last time was a lot of fun. And they sold out really, really quick. So I hope those of you that were hoping for the next bow sale and, um, will have a crack at them. So this one here, I don't know. I have to I have to figure out. I have to look back and see what my costs were on those. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for both Saturday and maybe the bow sale. Have a good night everybody.